But then there's some th theories that are really compelling, like when you look into like Operation Northwoods and you find out that the government really was planning false flag attacks and it didn't work. That, that's exaggeration. I think. No, it's not. I think How's exaggeration? Well, the, it was a, a discussion document. Operation it was signed Northwoods. by the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Yeah, it's... Uh, it was rejected by uh, Kennedy. By Kennedy, yeah. yeah but, but it was it, signed it by the Joint Chiefs of Staff. It didn't go very far. It was just one document. Right. They signed it that they got it. They didn't sign it that they wanted to do it. But it was an idea. The idea that you were yeah. going to attack American civilians, that you were going to arm Cuban friendlies and attack Guantanamo Bay, that you were going to blow up a drone airliner. These were all proposed things. They were proposed things, yeah. But, but just, it was just like, you know, Right, but you can understand. I understand what you're saying. But spitballing that you're going to deceive the American people and kill American civilians. And that yeah. this is a normal part yeah. of the way Nero burnt Rome, Hitler burn, burned the Reichstag, that false flag attacks are real. And that they have happened throughout history. So... When you do have an open mind and you are compelled to try to seek the truth, you got to be aware that these things have happened in history. They are real. And th if you dismiss everything, you'll be thought of as a shill as yeah. much as, I mean, as much as people who look for conspiracies and everything, there are also people who try to dismiss everything. And you have to be very careful because there are a lot of things that people do conspire to do. Like one of the things that I've brought up before, and people hate when I talk about this, but I'm going to do it again. Uh, people say, I don't believe in conspiracy, uh, conspiracies. And I say, you don't believe in any conspiracies? No. Okay, do you believe 9-11 happened? Do you believe that people flew planes into jet, uh, that flew jet planes into buildings? Well, yeah. then you believe in conspiracies because someone conspired to do that, and they did it. They pulled it off. A bunch of people got together, decided they were going to attack. They, they flew a plane into the Pentagon. They flew two planes into the World Trade Center towers. I mean, that really happened. So that's a conspiracy, mm -hmm. and they pulled it off. Yeah. So the, the, when you debunk all these things that are absolutely false, like flat earth and chemtrails and UFOs and all that jazz, you got to be careful to not try to debunk everything. Because no, people, I get what people, you're saying. You know I, what you're saying. Saying. I just think, like, I personally just feel the Northwoods thing is a bit overblown. I don't think it is at all. what it was. I think it were, it's, it's 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 um, what about what got us into Vietnam? Gulf of Tonkin. Yeah, that was a false flag. Well, that's debatable too, because that was just basically they thought that they were being attacked. Nothing Is that had... debatable? Yeah. I think that's pretty much been agreed upon that that it, was it a was, false it was flag. A, it was a series of events. Like there was the that didn't happen. Two, over two nights, the, there was reports of the boats being fired upon, uh, and it turns out there probably wasn't anything there. Right. So what's debatable is, did they think there was something there? And or did they was want mistaken, there to be something there? Or did there? they completely invent it out of thin air? Right. Now, How they probably you... used it as a pretext to, uh, to uh, you know, start the Vietnam War. Uh, but they just took advantage of it like in the same way the Bush took advantage of the 9-11 attacks right. to push his agenda. Yeah. Now, is that a conspiracy? It's hard to say. Like, what knowledge did Bush have of the 9/11 attacks beforehand? We know he took advantage of it, right. and we know that uh, you know the uh, the American administration back then took advantage of the Gulf of Tonkin reports. We don't know for sure whether the Gulf of Tonkin reports were fabricated or how much they were fabricated or what actually happened mm. on that night. Uh, and uh, but we do know that they were taken advantage of. Yeah. Well. My my whole point is that you have to be careful 